Hey there, I have a Trunk Club unboxing to do. She sent me my stylist, her name's Megan I believe, sent me a preview and I had not requested one so I'm assuming they just sometimes will throw around. I was like, why not? Haven't done it in a while or haven't purchased anything since like, I think the beginning of the school year this year. So I decided, let her send it. I don't know what's in it. She, on the preview, I think I had her like change almost all of it except for one pair of black shoes that I wanted to try. So it's going to be a mystery to both of us. So here's the box. It is very large and heavy. Let us open it. If you don't know what Trunk Club is, this is not sponsored by any means, but it's a subscription service through Nordstrom's, like ran through Nordstrom's, through Nordstrom brands. And if you have a Nordstrom credit card, which is what I have, you get the free styling fee. So it doesn't matter if I keep anything, it's free. Whereas if you didn't have the credit card, it's a $25 styling fee, which I think is on par with some of the other services like Stitch Fix. I was so sick yesterday and the day before, like deathly sick. I think last night I was up to 102 fever. I don't know why this is so hard to get open. Um, I think I'm okay now. Like my stomach's still queasy. Like I was throwing up for 10 hours straight and just like couldn't move. My legs were just aching so bad. I don't know if part of it's because I did a really intense like cardio leg workout the day before. I know that's not what made me sick, but like I wanted to chop my legs off yesterday. It was so bad. They were so achy. Probably some of it was because I literally spent 24 hours on the couch and I'm sure that's not good for your body. Also, anyone interested, Chester has appeared. Hello, I love you so much. Goodbye. Okay. So right inside, you get everything wrapped up so nicely. I never show this to you guys. I usually don't do like a first impressions unboxing. I usually unbox it on my own. Um, but now you can actually see how nice it is wrapped. But I'm gonna destroy it. And Chester loves this string in here. I don't know if that's what he's waiting for, but I'll give it to him. Look at that. Oh, what is that? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay, go play over here. There you go. First thing I'm pulling out is by Lou and Gray. Why does that sound familiar? Is that is that the Loft brand? I think they sell Lou and Gray. I don't think it's their brand, but I think they sell it. It's $69. I already saw the price tag. I usually like to guess how much it is or let Anthony guess how much it is. What is this? Are these pants? Oh, they are. Oh. They're size small, which frightens me, but it's like elasticized waistband, which actually is very good because I'm like a four six in pants and small sometimes doesn't fit, like a small, you know? These look like they'd be really nice for work. They're very thick and very soft, like actually very nice quality. And for $69 and like the way they feel, that's pretty good. Although I would be afraid of like my washing skills getting water stains on these. I don't know, I don't have the best luck with nice fabrics. Um, the next thing is a shirt. And I can already tell ya, without even putting this on, I am not a cap sleeve person. I have big arms, like, I work out. Like, I try to make them, like, muscular. But the way that it cuts, like, it's on, like, the widest part of my arm and I just always feel so bulky. And it's, like, see-through sheer, so you'd have to wear stuff under. I'm just not about that life. And it kind of looks small, I don't know. Just, I don't, I can already tell you I'm not gonna like it. Cut from the cloth, this is a moto jacket. I don't have one. The mo oh, nope, that's a lie. I have a black leather, like faux leather jacket. I feel like this might have been in the preview and I might have said keep it in because I thought it was actually really pretty. It's actually, it looks very nice. I don't know how much it is. My guess is it's like over $100. So since we uh, haven't been talking about prices, that's always a good one to talk about. You can set how much you wanna spend and how much you don't wanna spend. And I'm usually like the cheaper the better, but I have recently been like, if it's nice, I'll pay a little more. $98, the Hattie Faux Suede Moto Jacket. Half sleeve top. I think it's from Halogen and $39, so very cheap. So I would say I don't like the cheapest one. Yeah, of course. She sent a belt, and I wanna say I asked not to have a belt, but maybe I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what Brittany at that time was thinking. This is by Fry, and 
Oh, I think that's real leather. That smells like real leather. $58. I'll try it. I don't know. Next item. This looks like a casual shirt, which is my, oh, it's a turtleneck. Oh, it's a fitted turtleneck, two of my worst things. Um, I love turtlenecks, but I don't like them on my neck. I just feel suffocated. It's by Madewell, and it is $50, or $50, $45. Um, I will try it on, but again, that's going to be a no-go. Billabong. This is in a size medium. Oh, it's just a little cardigan. It's very lightweight, really cute. This would be a good like spring transition piece, which is probably what she was going for. It's more of like a fall, not a fall, a winter to spring. And that is $49.95, so $50. Okay, last couple of things. We have another Madewell item, and this is a sweater. So far, I'm not blown away by anything, but I'm also not like, really in the market for anything so i think that sometimes oh i saw this this was one of her previews i was like yes oh my gosh it's 118 dollars. they didn't have prices on there um it's a madewell sweater dress and it's in a green color and i just like this is something that where i enjoy wearing this type of thing to work i like wearing dresses with tights it makes me happy um the price tag is so much though so she sent me two pairs of shoes. So the first ones are from Blondo and they are apparently waterproof. And I think I saw these. Yeah, definitely not. Um, she sent me these before and I didn't like them. <laughs> they were supposed to be like a black, like faux snake print. Um, no, I just really, okay. They're so comfy, but the material is really gross i don't know how to explain it like i don't like the material it's not gross they look nice but she also sent me these boots like a couple months ago and like i don't need these now you know i swear like the photo was black i don't i'm confused they're supposed to be black and they're not even supposed to be this boot so they just sent me the wrong thing I'll send it back. It was $150, so no thank you anyways. I guess it was for the best. And then the very... I don't know what that was. The <laughs> room was that? Oh, chocolates. The very last thing is a Sam Edelman pair of flats. And I don't think... Yeah. I'm not a flat girl. Like, I have a couple pairs of flats, but, like, I don't ever wear them. These are cute. They're little bell lace flats. I've had, like, a pair like these in the past. I'll try them on like maybe I'll be blown away and love them it's very possible I just don't um I don't ever pull for them so that was everything let me know in the comments below what you thought of each piece what you think I should keep what you would keep yourself um and then you know we can just comment back and forth on whatever you want doesn't you have to be related to this video I'm gonna go I'm like I need medicine my head hurts I think because I've been so dehydrated from being sick um so I will see you super soon in another video. Bye.